This video is on how to crop a photo, which maybe seems like a really basic thing, but I like it when sites all have their images the same ratios and the same size. I think that looks really nice, it looks professional, and it just creates a consistency across the site that I think is, is really nice. So that can be hard to do because obviously not all of the images on the internet that you are gonna find are going to be all the same ratio. So I just kind of have uh, just a, some images pulled up here that I am going to just try to find a fun one that we could crop. Um, just something fun and colorful. Let's do this one I like that. So that looks fun. So I'm just going to grab that one. This is from Unsplash. And so I have downloaded it. And then I'm going to go over to this site, BeFunky.com. I just use this one. I just need to crop. I just need to resize a photo. Uh, I just like it because it's it's free and it's really fast. So just click on get started and we want to edit a photo. We're going to start new and then we're going to find our image that we just downloaded right here. All right, so now how big should your image be? Like I really like the 16 by nine ratio, which is the same ratio that your TV is. Uh, so that it's a very common size of image that people look at all the time. So it, it just feels right, it feels natural. And so I have this, I just Googled 16 by nine ratio calculator and it doesn't matter which one of these you pick, they're all gonna do the same thing. It's just a, a math problem. So typically I do a thousand pixels across. That will fill the, the, the width of the text in WordPress for pretty much every theme. And then that gives you the height of 563. So I think that is a really nice sized image. So we're going to go over into the photo editor. And the first thing I do is resize it to the width. So I click on resize and then this lock aspect ratio, it's already checked. So that's great. So we're just going to make it a thousand pixels across and then click on this apply. So now our image is exactly 1000 pixels across. Then we're going to crop it. So we want to make our width is the thousand. That's the full width. And then our 563. And it pulls that box in. All right, so we could crop it. So we have some of the, the string and the balloons. So let's say that, All right? If you don't like that, you can click on the undo, go back to the crop and start over. Maybe we just want the balloons. Cool. All right. And then we're going to save it to the computer. You want to save it with your keywords and save. Now that is really big. It's going to need to be compressed, uh, but that is how you can crop a photo so that you know exactly the dimensions it's, it is and you don't have to upload these giant photos that are all different ratios. You can make all your images look exactly the same on your site.